Is it NA chat? Okay. What the hell is this? This is a shelf! You have an entire snacks shelf! That just has like random <laughs> other stuff on it too. That has like some random like liquor and uh, some kind of like a Pokemon booster pack. Is that what that is? Detective Pikachu from Japan. There is, in fact, not a single box in this picture besides like the box that contains some of the snacks. So maybe maybe this is just like a uh, a lost in translation thing. Maybe this is a uh, um, across the pondism. Let me go ahead and blow this up here. It is, in fact, a snack shelf. Uh, let me go ahead and fix this up here. So this is no longer lunch break. This is now round three. Will Harrison online versus Christian. This time playing Dragon. So last uh, last LL tournament he uh, brought his <laughs> very janky but fun scattered terrain deck. Uh, this time it's not the case. This time it's uh. Uh, the, the deck that won last time, so Christian definitely on the, uh, if you can't beat him, join him train. Is it just the Tadakatsu build? Yeah, it is. It's, this is actually Demagogue's deck. I'm, I, I don't think there's much difference here. I think he may have a couple more Void Fists. But uh, Christian uh, saying he's playing Dragon this time because he's playing Dragon for the World Cup for Sweden. So. Alright, so we see a conflict with the Midnight Rebels. Midnight Rebels are just going to break here. We, we had a, a Ashigaru Levy just uh, offer up a paltry defense. Or no, it got bowed, sorry, by the, uh, um, it got bowed by the water ring, rather. They didn't even defend. Alright, so Mozart are going to go in here with the finger of Jade on. Uh, Swordsmith. Kind of late activation for the Swordsmith here. I guess you maybe you want, should have used it a little bit earlier. But it didn't really make a difference. He doesn't have any, uh, he, he does have fate. I don't know. I don't know why he waited so long to use it, but whatever. It still got used. And so uh, we're going to run straight into Restoration here. Cloud the Mind goes out on the Mozo, so you can't drag in the Swordsmith. Uh, so Rest is going to break here. I think this is probably fine. Like, of all times that you can choose to break Resto, turn one's probably the best one that you can do. Um, or one of, the, one of the better ones. Obviously, the, the best ones are the ones where you have, like, no cards in your hand. But uh, And this could potentially be one as well. And so we're going to see him... Uh, Slap the tactical ingenuities off. Not going to use them because you just have to discard stuff to the Resto anyway. And then you can just go ahead and discard in service to my lord. So Resto, definitely not super threatening for this deck. Yeah, playing the finger J for equal hand size. That's that's fine too. So we're probably just going to see the Mystic being bought here, um, if I had to guess. Uh, probably Mystic or uh, the Samurai of Integrity. Uh, you could also season the Ward here too, just to get rid of the Mitsu. Since you don't actually have to buy that much this turn. But uh, he chooses to buy the Mystic instead on one fate. And then he passes. Yeah, chose not to season. Um, this could actually come back uh, to bite him in the ass later. 
I, I do think that you want to get rid of misuse as, as soon as you can, but it's so early that the, the likelihood of you flipping something else that's pretty devastating is also kind of high too, right? Yeah, double favorable and Mitsu, but double favorable also doesn't really matter that much this early because uh, Mitsu's not going to have that many attachments to where you, you're that concerned about him. He only has two fate left over, so... They yes, they are they are they would be gone in this situation, but Alright, so political attack here. Defense from the Mitsu. New name goes on. We're probably gonna see some policy debating happening in a little bit. Saying he needs to attack Void here. I don't know. If void is is, is probably is <laughs> the, what you want to be attacking. Yeah, it's not. There's no keepers in the bin here, so we're gonna see another new name come out. That's two cards. And we'll keep track of that Mitsu counter for you. Favorite mount goes on to Mozo. So, we'll put out some cards here. I guess he's looking to uh, make sure that he's ahead so he can um, uh, defend your honor if necessary. Otherwise, Motsu gets double voided. Sure. That's, that's also possible. But I also think that Mozu could get double voided no matter what here, right? So we could see five cards come out. We already saw Way of the Dragon, so we can actually put the Way of the Dragon on um, uh, Mitsu here. And then just trigger Void Ring twice. We, that's three cards now for Christian. He just needs to play two more free ones, and then he can put Way of the Dragon on and uh, double void. Uh, which would force uh, Will to go ahead and use the Mystic to get rid of the Way of the Dragon. Here's the Defend Your Honor, so that's card number four. And he's going to Finger Jade that one instead, so... Uh, he could very well get Policy Debated here, because the... Yeah, there it is. And stay your hand, we'll come out to cancel the policy debate soon. Nice tech here from Will. But that is five cards now played by a Christian, so he can go ahead and start Vitsuing stuff. Another policy debate comes out. Another stay your hand. So that's two policy debates down now. That's actually pretty huge for uh, for for Will. And we're gonna go ahead and void Mozo here. And he had to return the defense too. Man, that's a, that's rough. Which means that we will in fact see a, a double void here. But uh, no, we're not. <laughs> Thanks to the power of Q Nakoma. So Mitsu will live to, uh, Mozo will live to see another day. Uh, no keeper for Will. We'll see the in service now on the Mia Mystic. I doubt we see the Swordsmith uh, go into attack here. He might just go ahead and attack Void just to get the fate. Yeah, that, that looks like what he's, gonna, what he's gonna do. He's not gonna win this conflict, but uh, he will run into Shameful here.
just gonna go ahead and, and pop the shameful now. I probably would have waited a second since you're already winning, right? And now we're gonna see policy debate on the swordsmith. Okay, so that, I, I guess that's justification for it. So we see two Way of the Dragons and two Duelist Trainings. So I think you have to go ahead and get rid of at least one of these, these Way of the Dragons. Uh, he, he goes for the Duelist Training instead, okay. Uh, so the other one gets put on, on Mitsu. Which means that Mitsu now is going to come in and try to bow maybe Mozo. Let's see, he's at a 9, Mozu's at a 8, right? No, he's just going to move the Swordsmith home instead. That'll give him a second conflict, although uh, after seeing his hand, uh, there's not a lot of... Uh, all he'd be doing at this point is just poking to, to, to reveal. He doesn't have any way to, to pump himself without spending a ton of money, right? Ooh, okay. We see a Slavonly Scavenger come down now, too. Do we see a second in service? Uh, it looks like no. But it's possible that whenever he goes into attack here, he may, uh... He may be able to, to, to get the second one. Although it's not necessary either, right? So... This is gonna come in and just bow this uh, the scavenger. So maybe unnecessary to play the conflict character here, but he had a second one. Christian often to take the uh, the fifty fifty here. I would just go ahead and sacrifice both of them, right? So that way they both end up uh, shuffled back. Alright, you got a way of the dragon instead. So it's still duelist training available. And still a poke available for Christian. But we already know that he can't win this conflict. I think now. Yeah, I think he's just going to go ahead and pass here so he can tie the favor. Alright, Mitsu Dupe is out now. Proving Ground also here for, uh, for Christian. So... And along with this Mia Mystic as well. Uh, it's going to be kind of tough sledding for Will. Um, you know, this Mitsu is already online and active. Uh, it's going to be really tough, difficult for uh, for the Lion Tower to get past it. Uh, this is this is honestly really a <laughs> a very, very difficult matchup for, um, for Lion. So it's going to take some time to build up this mid, uh, this uh, this mozo, um, but he's going to have to. He's going to have to, you know, um, hope he has at least the call to war, so that way he can um, preserve this mozo for another turn, and just uh, sort of chain, chain flip the dupes. Why storehouse before the dupe? Um, I don't think it mattered. I think you're going to do both anyway. Bait in the season? Potentially, yeah, but I also don't think you need a season there. Um, this Mitsu is going to be around forever at this point, so... Kind of is what it is. Alright, so Samurai of Integrity now, uh, getting attached to Mozo, so that's a plus three.
And we're going to see the Mia Mystic being sacrificed to get rid of that Samurai of Integrity. I think this puts Mitsu still at 9 uh, and 11. Uh, so with two policy debates down now, you don't, you're not super worried about the political stat part of this. Um, so you just go ahead and play the Blade of 10,000 Battles. This, this, to me, tells me that you have to have a Call to War in your hand, right? And Christian so far has played zero cards in this conflict. Uh, no use of Shameful yet. I feel like you might want to consider going ahead and using it. Sharpen the Mind comes out of Mozo. Oh, uh, Arash, yeah, go ahead and call me, please. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How's okay. my sound? Uh, sounds good. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, what's the Jigoku password? Uh, one, two, three, four. All right, so Will right now playing out all of his hands. Um, looks like, yeah, he was just trying to get the, the Swordsmith to get pulled in. Um, now we're going to see some tactical usage. And then Shameful, I think, on this Mitsu. He pulled a uh, in-service to my lord with that tactical ingenuity, and this other one's going to pull a bonsai. <clears throat> oh. and, and I'm ready. Pop that check. Cool. Yeah, so Sharper the Mind. Uh, oh, Policy Debate. Okay, nice. And so we're going to see Policy Debate on the Swordsmith. Uh, and we see Christian's Hand, Court Games, Dragon Tattoo... Formal invitation, hawk tattoo, hawk tattoo. Let go, void fist, this way of the dragon. Good hand. It is pretty good. So, what, what would you take here? I think probably. Uh, formal? There's only one formal in the deck. Well, let go is also fine. Yeah, I think let go is good or way of the dragon, right? Because that'd be the second way of the dragon. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that he had already played one. Uh, it got discarded to Earth Ring. Okay. In that case, way of the dragon for sure. Yeah, but he chose let go instead, um, which I guess is reasonable. I mean, it protects your fingers and vans and barches and stuff. Yeah. Um, we're going to see High House come out here uh, for no fate. Uh, but, you know, Mitsu's at, at three fate right now, so I don't think you really need to. Yeah. Although it's kind of a curious. How would you do that? Um, how would you do that then? Why high house? Hmm? Uh, I don't know. I'm not totally sure. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what he would be afraid of in this situation, right? There, there's no event that really targets here. Yeah. And yeah, actually, it it, <laughs> it prevented him from being able to use Mitsu to uh, to to do that duel. Although it didn't really matter because Mitsu is a lot smaller anyway. Yeah. Okay, now he's gonna start playing cards. Dragon tattoo puts him at eight. Um, but the Mozu is at fourteen, so I don't know if he's trying to void fist him or what he's trying to do here exactly. I guess just resolve the ring effect. He can resolve water. Uh, yeah, he could do that, actually. Harrison can't just play the... You know, play the call to war now, I guess. You're sort of opening yourself up to uh, Mitsu doing... Um, 
Liquid Ring in the in combat. Yeah. So, I mean, alternatively, he could just have a Fana Command, right? And then he can just uh, play the Fana Command. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think if you're Harrison here, you just go ahead and... I would go ahead and just use this Mystic on the way of the dragon. I don't want him using two, uh, two things now, right? I agree. Yeah. That's fine. Here's the Hawk Tattoo. Mm hmm. Choose his Fire Ring. Okay, he's going to honor himself. And now he's actually... Super buffed, yeah. Yeah. So, I think if you're Harrison, you're okay with this. Uh, that was a lot of cards spent. Talisman now? Okay. That's pretty slick. And so we're going to move him to Upholding, I guess. Yeah, Harrison's playing this very very well. Oh, he moved him to Forge. Okay. That's fine, too. Yeah, I guess Forge is probably more valuable than Upholding in this situation. Um, because you know his hand is all singletons. Yeah, and you already know his hand in general, so there's, there's, there's not a lot of information to be gained here. Move to Frostbitten? No, he has Frostbitten on the Stronghold. Move to Frostbitten would have been sick there, for sure, but unfortunately you can't get there yet. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and in service now. Uh, you're probably only gonna get one conflict out of this mozo. I guess so. I guess you're really only looking at one. So if he has a character in hand, can favored mount in if he wants to. I guess you're not standing. Yeah. Um. Oh no! Okay, actually no. Okay, he can go air here and get the keeper, and then he can restand with his uh, with a uh, in service if he has one. He chooses to go political though. I think that's incorrect. You know that he doesn't have any court games or anything. He has a bonsai in hand for the keeper. Yeah, that's also true. So runs into shameful is kind of unfortunate. But we're gonna get a finger and jade that. That's fine. Oh. He's still much bigger than the Mitsu. No, right? Mitsu can They're duel equal. him down. They're equal, so he can't he can't um duel training him right now. But he plays a, okay, he played he, he, he played another uh, hawk that too here. Oh. This is so aggressive. This is really aggressive. He's he's played a lot of he's down to one card in hand. Yeah. This is card in hand. Um, let's see, what was it? Uh, it's Voidfist. Okay. And now he drew another one from, uh, from Proving Ground too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, but that's every single movement effect that he has in the deck, right? Um... Um, he still has... Did he already play the formal? Yeah, the formal's on the, the Mitsu already. At least he can continuously move in with the formal, so at least he has still some movement left. I guess there's not much to worry about in terms of Covert. Right. I guess. Mm -hmm. So you're pretty fine. Yeah, but, like, but it's, more just, it's more just guy. like, you know, losing... Or having to commit Mitsu to a conflict and then losing, right? And now he's actually in a situation where he can't really draw cards anymore. I mean, um, like he has the proving ground that'll help, right? But if yeah. he bids here, he's not, he's not going to have five cards to play, so he can actually use the Mitsu effect. Oh, Tranquil Philosopher is oh. actually really huge. He has a Tranquil. Also, he can. Ring grounds. You know? Right. I think he's. It's advantage for Christian right now. I would say so. Um, yeah. Just because it's huge, but Christian has a shot still. Yeah. Like, this is not over. It definitely would have really helped if he was able to break that uh, that shameful display. Yeah. Um, well, now you know where the Midnight Revels is, and you can just farm that shit. Yeah, that's true. 
Um, he's also going to be getting um, a, another samurai on top of this uh, this mozo too. So there's a fan of command. So he's trying to get bigger earlier, so that way he does. Man, this doesn't just get so early turn. I mean, at this point, Christian can only put on on fine katana, or does he have no fine katanas? The, so he can go up by another four. He can go up to an eighteen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> chat pointing out right now that the, the Blade of 10,000 battle is actually huge, um, yeah. because he can just keep on cycling that Call to War, and this boss is going to stay around forever. And there's, there's just going to be no... Oh, wow, that's interesting. Gaijitsu. What about Gaijitsu? Uh, he went Gaijitsu instead of... Uh, Tranquil? Yeah. Uh, it was definitely risky, right? But, um, he ended up not bidding... I think he felt confident enough in his honor total to where he didn't need to. Awkward thing is that how many hawk tattoos has he put on this guy? Three? It's all three hawk yeah. tattoos, yeah. And his dragon tattoo? I think that's all of his tattoos. There's, there's just one dragon tattoo left. Yeah. Even put another dragon tattoo on him? Um, you can. You can, okay. Yeah, it's just no more restricted. This means you can only go up by another two. How many let goes does Christian have left? I think he still has three. Oh, he had, one of them got, got um, policy debated, so he has two left. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that, 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 meant, that meant two. All right, so immediately choosing to high house here. Not get. Ooh, way of the lion, okay. <clears throat> Some real shit. All right, oh, he does have a katana, okay. I think he's trying to get a brick on this one. Oh, no, he got it in service. Nice. All right, so there's the let go. And you can't... This is nice setup by Christian to prevent yourself from being defended, Your Honor, for this let go. Yeah. Uh, and now he's actually big enough to where he can duel and yeah. bow the Mozo. Although the Mozo can still stand up with a Fan Command. I think he's mostly just doing it for the card, right? Right. He, he doesn't have Way of the Dragon on there anymore, right? No, he's he's out of Way of the Dragons now. And so how many cards is that, he, that he's played so far? So that's one, two... Um, it's two cards for uh, for Christian. It's a good defense by by Christian here. I like it. This Matzo leaving the board, I think that that's just Will's dead, right? Right. Uh, and so you would have to have another call to war at this point in time. How many does he run, do you know? Uh, there should be two in here. Oh. No. Okay. And he's only played one? Okay, so he'll be fine. Um... Do you play Voice of the Ancestors? I forget. Um, I, I've, I've played, I've, uh, it's been in and out. Uh, okay. I think with the absence of Spyglass, it's more necessary because you just need more stats, right? Like because you, can you need more call on yeah. stats. Okay, he's going to um, use the Dragon Tattoo to, to um, defend your honor here. And uh, Will's going to go ahead and bid uh, to win. That actually is now four cards for for Christian, um, but he doesn't have another card to play, so he can't use uh, Mitsu here. He could I mean he could have a any hurricane punches? Oh yeah, <laughs> he could, but it looks like he's choosing not to. Yeah, that's kind of depends. This Mitsu is so huge. It is. Um, okay, so yeah, that's the fifth card right there. So we're gonna see a watering activation probably on the on Butso. Just forcing the service, right? 
Yeah, that would force in service here. I don't know. <clears throat> I really don't find that card very effective, but it's doing work here. Uh, still for no, he uh, he had to stay your hands from the from the start. I saw them in a previous match already. Zal's Earth. What do you think he's digging for? Uh, he's probably trying to get rid of the um, the call to war if he had it right. Sure. I don't think he's yeah. digging. I think he's just trying to get attack the call to war because if he, ooh, okay, nice slapping the scavenger. Came back. You just want to shuffle. Yeah. Has he used shuffle. his... He's already used his tactical ingenuities, right? Yeah. Okay. That was a pretty big conflict. It was. Um, and I mean, I think it's, it's good progress on... Uh, on Will's part, um, mm -hmm. but I also think that if he doesn't have the call to war, he's still just going to lose here, right? Because there's no way he's getting to the stronghold, right? Yeah. Oh my God, he had another. He had another dragon tattoo. Oh fuck. <laughs> That's. This is this is ludicrous. He paid five ten for a stand for Mitsu. Mm-hmm. It's worth it if it. I mean, like, it's probably going to help him win the game, right? Yeah. No. I mean, I think he's he's just going to win right here, right? So he not not on this conflict, but next turn. He can't defend here in case he has the RTO. Right. I like, think. He, well, I mean, I think you just go ahead and let this break anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you don't use the talisman or anything like that. You just let this break. And then you need to go ahead and trade. So Mitsu by default is at 16, which is already kind of insane, right? Did he? Already, I think he already dual his training though, so I think we're okay. He's fine on that. Both of the way the dragons are in the bin, right? Yeah. Draw fire and void fist. The art on um, way of the dragon is just so nice. It is. It's very peaceful and nice. Yeah, maybe he was also digging for the RTO. You're right, Jasper. Yeah, surprised he's not going Void Ring to get the Keepers. I mean, he could. Uh, it's not super impactful here. I don't know why he would fire, though. Probably just to protect his Mitsu. Like, this Mitsu is maxed out right now. I guess, right? But then, the, you know, if, if he does attack fire, you at least get the matter of a fire activation. Yeah. That's true. All right, so now we're going to see Earth attack over here. Um, we know that there that uh, that Christian doesn't have an answer to this, so yeah, and you sort of have to eat the shameful here too. Yeah, Christian also doesn't really have a great or an answer at all to. Frostbitten? Right. So, um, keeping your vocal side. I mean, this is kind of dangerous because if he has a. <laughs> yeah, it looks like. Uh, it looks like Will does not have the, uh, the, the call to <laughs> in his hand. Just slam that call to war, right? Oh. Yeah, you would just go ahead and slam it here, so... That's probably gonna be it. You didn't... If you don't run Voice of the Ancestors, does K-Day take, take that spot? Dual Strain was already used earlier this turn. Um, if you don't... I mean, you can run anything there, honestly. It's it's just another support card, right? And so it's sort of the same concept as, like, why is Gaijutsu in this deck for uh, the Dragon deck? It's just a card that, that supports. So Kaede, Kaede helps... Um, um, you can do that. You can do, uh, um, you know, like uh, the Hall of Victories or something like that. Any number of things, really. So the drip. Oh. 
Makes so, sense. Oh, I mean, this is over. You just, yeah, investigator and then all in um, political. Well, you do have to be aware of Frostbitten, right? So the Frostbitten can still... Uh, I think that you have enough stats well, even yeah, with... I think you just have enough stats, yeah, on board. So. Yeah, I mean, I think that if you don't have voice and instead you have K-Day, um, it's just added redundancy. I get the idea of wanting to get bigger, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I think that... I think you can make a case for both of them, right? And I think that some matchups, you, you want the, the extra save. Some matchups, um, you want the extra stats. And so it's... This, this is actually classically one of the matchups where you want the stats more. Yes, this one this one ordinarily would be, yes. Um... Where else do you really need the stats? Where else do you really need them? I think you need them against uh, Crab. Um, I it, think it is just like man crab because it ignores way other crab. Um. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is a rush. Yes and no. I like. Like it's still like, both 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 of the cards are still pretty big commitments, right? Yeah, they are. So. Um, this. I think you've met my cousins. Okay. Met my cousins. Uh, Pax unplugged. Um. I mean, so this game is just over, right? Yeah, I think this game is pretty much over at this point. Uh, and we're just going to see political attack on the stronghold, and that'll be it. And second dragon tattoo really kind of busted this game wide open. Yeah, that was definitely really huge, right? Because uh, that allowed them to get the extra break in. Um, like, I really think that over. Hey. All right, so right now uh, we'll just playing out some cards just to get as many stats as possible. I think, yes, I think that this is not entirely over yet. But yeah, but what we're going to see here is just, uh, you know, he's going to poke in, poke in political first and then force a defense. And he also has, a command. He has a, also has the um, formal invite. Right, yes. So he can move himself in if he needs to. But um, the bigger thing, is, I think, is more you just force a defense here and then you can just attack on the military afterwards. Mm -hmm. All right. So policy debate here. Okay. A bit kind of aggressively here. I would bid five if I was Christian. I don't think there's a point. I think uh, if you're will, you just bid to win anyway. So, no. Just take the duelist training here. Um, probably. I think you take the duelist training on the void fist. I think they both serve the same purpose. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. The Void Fist is less... I mean, you still have Fan of Command, and you still have... Oh, okay, he does take the Void Fist. Oh, you don't have Fan of Command anymore, nor do you have Favored Mount. I'm sorry, I thought that this was a new... I forgot that this is a new one. Right, yeah. Yeah, Punch is also good. You're right, Mike. Yeah, Void Fist is probably the big one because of the fact that you, you, you moved out too, right? So you can at least counteract the duelist training by, by standing yourself back up. Yeah, that's true. Let's 
it's in Will's hand. How sad do you think he he would be if he drew the call to war now? Uh, probably turn pretty up. sad, I have to imagine. But... That's definitely probably what happened, right? That's just how karma works? Yes. Um, and just being an honored Mitsu. Like, how much does he is he packing? Seven, nine, eleven. Right, so he can without any of his. Um, oh, and he still has a duelist training too. So he has a bow as well. Okay. Um. As whatever the uh, Agasha Swordsmith picks up. Right. I think that's more probably what he's thinking about, right? Yeah, I mean, he did go to call to war. Called it. Actually, which I agree with you. Now that I've seen this hand, he can just move in and and break here. Yeah. One hundred percent. He's already played all like the maximum number of uh, political pawns. That's exactly what he does. Yeah. So you don't really yeah. care about this happening because it's not that much political stat that you were getting from your stuff in the first place, right? So. Mitsu and the bar is right really, really big, right, Mike? Because that's what probably is the convincing factor um, being in right now. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it really matters because looking at that hand, there's nothing he can do to pump political any further. So, no. this is a well, well, um, well done conflict, right? Like he yeah. he played this he played this last turn really well. Yeah, although I, I just think that um, just not seeing that call to war and then uh, having uh, having Christian see the other let go was really kind of damning there. Yeah. I agree with you completely. Um, that call to war, I mean, that me Matsu leaving play was just a big deal. Right. Yeah. Asper, you're right. Needed to just snap Mystic the invite. Right, but then I think he would have just died on, on military afterwards, though, so... Yeah, that's true. I don't think it would have made that much of a difference. He had a adorned Barcha, he had a Bonsai. He did have the Barcha, yeah, that is true. He had two Bonsais in hand, and he had a Prepare for War. Um, I guess the Prepare for War is not doing much. Yeah, so you could have stalled it out, you could have stalled it out a little bit, but, you know, at this point you're just kind of, you know, grasping for straws. Yeah, I agree completely. And you can't break his stronghold because of a sacred sanctuary, right? So, no. if you attack, then you just die. And not with this board state, at least. Really, it's yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I I feel like that matchup is very very close to. Uh, almost, I I don't want to say impossible for for Lion, but it, it is very difficult. Yeah, I would agree with you. Um, go to the Zarzak. I mean, I guess because. Yeah, I think this is actually the only game that's left up right now, so we'll just go to this game. The one, two, three, four still? Mm hmm And uh, once you hop in here, I'm actually going to be muscle for a second. Yeah, yeah. And uh... I don't think that he can threaten a legitimate mill break, Esper. How he does that. But Christian wants to pop SS. This would be pretty favored here. I mean, this is just over for Zarzaka. I mean, Zarzaka is just going to win this, right? Seems like no. I am still on the call. Okay, never mind. Be Dan just left. No, okay. I told you I was gonna mute myself for a second. Oh, oh, oh sorry, I didn't hear that. Was, uh... Sorry.
Duel to Honor, now he's going to Smuggler's Club back in. But it's still not doing anything, he's still winning. Mark a shame. I like that. I don't know. Mark a shame doesn't seem like... I really love Mark a shame. I, I really, really do. But does it pull enough weight in, in Crane? Like, do you have enough ways to sort of play against it? I guess you just go full kill. Nice. Double sack. So you just did three marker shames. Shame was just always really good in the mirror. Uh, sorry, against Crane. I never played Crane because Crane sucks. Um, yeah, it really opens opens up the game. Um, going full kill. All right, what's your new abbreviation? NS? Wow, three duels to the death, three noble sacks. That's legitimate. Yeah, NS is normal abbreviation. I don't know why we need a new abbreviation. I think it's because... Uh... <laughs> Some people are saying knob sack, and knob is a uh, little, uh, little raunchy in some some regions. But you know, sometimes knob sacking someone is a little raunchy. All right, so that's the end of this game right here. Um, so that means that uh, this round's actually oh, going to end pretty early. Yeah. So are we pairing the next round? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pair the next round. I'll give it uh, a little buffer though for people. 